in a couple of steps. First part of the idea. First part of the idea is this. Um, every, it's very easy, every angle, every single angle, I don't mean some angles, I mean every single angle has what we call a reference, reference triangle. That's the lesson for today. Every single angle has what we call a reference triangle. And the entire purpose of the lesson today is to learn learn how to get this reference triangle. If we can do that, then we will be incredibly powerful and ready for the next section. Okay? So, uh, let me tell you the recipe for a reference triangle. Here's the recipe. You have to start off with, of course, an angle. Suppose you started with some angle um, 30 uh, degrees. Well, yeah, let's make it 30 degrees. According to our statement here, every angle has a reference triangle, so 30 degrees must have a reference triangle. Here's how you cook up a reference uh, triangle. You start off always on the XY plane. Uh, this is the X axis, this is the Y axis. And it is customary to start off uh, always, well it's not customary, it's by definition, reference triangle starts off on the positive X axis. That means this part of the X axis. This would be the negative side of the x-axis, this is the positive side of the x-axis. This is the negative part of the y-axis, this is the positive. Reference angles always begin to be measured from the positive x-axis, meaning from here. And they always start off with a segment, a segment of any length you want. For example, I can make it length uh, 2. And what you do is you spin it, uh, you spin it this way, counterclockwise for positive angles and you would do clockwise for negative angles. So this one would be 30 degrees. This is 90, so that would be way too much. Halfway would be 45, it would be somewhere around there. That's 30 degrees. And we make this length any way you, any size that you want. For example, it could be length two. And once you, this is called the angle in standard position. To make a triangle, keep in mind, what's the name of the game? Today, this is the name of the game. Every angle has a reference triangle. So I'm trying to draw uh, the reference triangle for 30 degrees. You start on the positive x-axis. You go clock uh, counterclockwise for positive angles, and you pick a segment of any length. And then, f once you're done drawing a segment, you keep one of the ends on the origin, and the other end you go from it and you draw a perpendicular towards the x-axis towards the x-axis. Here's one choice, here's the other choice. That would be towards the y. We never ever ever do that. We always go towards the x-axis. So from here, draw a perpendicular to the x-axis so that this is perpendicular. And that right there is a reference triangle for 30 degrees. And also you should be able to label the sides. Label the sides means figure out how, how big they are. Um, that is the whole purpose of the last week and a half has been the last four or five lessons have been to learn 30 60 triangles 45 45 triangles almost triangles the reason we learned all those is precise so we could come to this point and have no problems draw, drawing the reference triangle if this is 30 degrees you should have no problems figuring out uh, the si length of these sides across from 30 you always find the small one which is half the hypotenuse two half of that use your calculator if you have to two divided by two Go ahead, use your calculator, that would be 1. Uh, and then, I'm just kidding about that. Uh, and then across from 60, you take the small one, you multiply by the square root of 3. So there it is. And you label the sides this way. To the right, that's positive. So the x, this part right here is positive. And then up is positive. And the hypotenuse is always positive. And there it is, that's the reference triangle. Okay? If you think that was easy, well, it was. Maybe we can try it on another example. Okay, again, let's try another example. Again, what's the name of the game today? Every angle has a reference triangle. Okay, this is a hint, subliminal hint. What's the lesson for today? Every angle has a reference triangle. So let's say 120 degrees. Every angle has a reference triangle, so this one must have a reference triangle. Start on the XY plane. This is the positive side. You go your, can, your segment can be any, any length you want. Positive angles always go counterclockwise. So far you've gone 90 degrees. 
you got to go 120, so you go 30 more. That would be right around here. That right there, that's 120 degrees. 120 degrees. And you make this length, any length you want. Uh, I'll make it length too. Uh, and then from the end, you draw a perpendicular to the x-axis. Let me think. Would that be towards the x-axis like that? Or would that be towards the x-axis like that? Well, only like this. This is not towards the x-axis. This is the y-axis. That's not the way to do it. Always towards the x-axis. Draw a perpendicular to the x-axis. That's the reference triangle. Um, by the way, just out of curiosity, what angle would that be in here? If you've gone 120, how much more have you got to go to get to 180? you got 120. How much more have you got to go? Use your calculator. This is 180. Take away 120. That would be 60 degrees. Uh, this other one here would be 30 degrees um, because they have to add up to 180. And now we use our excellent 3060 skills, 3060 triangle skills. We know, we own it. You should own it. You should prove it. Um, you should be very comfortable with 3060 triangles. All right, across from 30, you always find the smallest side, which is always half the hypotenuse. So this one's got to be one. The other one's always the small one times the square root of three. And then we label the sides and include the signs. If you're going left that's going negative if you go up that's positive so there you go that's the sides being labeled including the sign okay that was so fun we're gonna try it again uh, let's try some negative angles I suppose we try um, negative 150 degrees how would you do that um, are you scared of doing that? Let me think. We cannot be scared. This is the X, this is the Y. You always start on the positive X axis. Positive X axis. For negative angles, you go clockwise. So you go. That's 90 degrees. You gotta go some more. That's 180. Whoops, that's too much. Well, you don't wanna go 180. We only wanna go 150. Let's start over. 90 degrees. How much more have you got to go? 60 degrees. Uh -huh. So it's right around here. Uh, this is a total of negative 150 degrees. The question, and then from there you draw perpendicular to the x-axis. Always to the x-axis. You make this any length you want. I'll make it length 2. And then you finish the rest of the story. Think about it. Uh, to label the size, you're going to have to know about these angles. If this is 150, how much more have you got to go to get to 180? This has to be 30 degrees inside here. And that makes this one 60 degrees. And across from 30, you always find half the hypotenuse. The other one's always square root of 3. Left is always negative. Down is always negative. And there it is. Uh, again, the, rate, the um, hypotenuse, we always keep positive by definition. The only things that are positive or negative is if you go left, going left is negative, going down is negative. If you go to the right, that's positive. If you go up, that's positive. And there it is. That's the reference triangle for negative 150 degrees. Um, let's do it again. This time you can do, I don't know, something crazy like uh, 300 degrees. See if you're afraid of that. What are we going to do with 300 degrees? Again, here's this subliminal hint. Every angle has a reference triangle, so this one must have a reference triangle. How do we draw it? By definition, a reference triangle is given by the triangle obtained starting on the positive x-axis. This is a positive angle, so you got to go um, counterclockwise. That's 180. How much more have you got to go? 90 more, that's 270. Back all the way 360. Whoops, we went too much. We went all the way 360. Whoops, we went too much again. We gotta go only 300, so maybe this time we'll do it right. 300, 360, that's too much. Come back 60. There it is. Uh, all the way to 300 degrees, 60 shorter of a full revolution. Draw a perpendicular. Uh, make this any length you want. We'll make a length too. Finish labeling it across from 30. Across from 30, you always find half the hypotenuse. That's one. Across from 60 would be the square root of 3. Okay, now to the right is positive. 
down is negative so this one must be negative just like that that's the reference triangle for 360 degrees no I'm sorry that's the reference triangle for 300 degrees okay maybe we can try a couple more this time let's try it for 420 degrees for 420 degrees let me see start here you go all the way around that's 360 how much more have we got to go after you've gone 360 well you gotta go 60 more so that would be right around there and you could sometimes we represent it this way by representing a full revolution then up there some more that's 420 degrees you drop a perpendicular to the x-axis this one is 60 degrees this one is 30 degrees you make this any length you want to across from 30 you find the smaller one across from 60 you find um, the square root of 3 times the small one you label the sides the signs to the right is positive up is positive you're good to go 420 degrees okay this is called the reference triangle absolutely absolutely crucial for the rest of what we're going to be doing um, let's try some of these uh, other odd ones uh, let me see um, let's try 225 degrees for 225 degrees you'd go to 180 45 more this would be 225 degrees. The inside angle here would be 45 degrees. After the uh, 180 mark, draw a perpendicular always to the x-axis. Make this any length you want. I'll make this length square root of 2. Why? Because I can. You can make this any length you want. Well, there's more to it. Uh, of course, you know that on a 45-45 triangle, the other legs are the hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2. So it's very convenient to make this a square root of 2 because to get one of the legs you could divide this by square root of 2 and you get 1. To get the other one you divide by square root of 2 and you get 1. Of course that's a nice choice for, for the 45-45 reference triangles. Um, now you include the signs if from the origin. You go left, that's negative, and then you go down, that's negative. That's it. That's your reference triangle for 225 degrees plenty more where that came from. Uh, let's do some other strange things here. Uh, how about the reference triangle for zero degrees? Whoa! Chew on that. For zero degrees, uh, let me think, think, think. You start on the positive x-axis and you go uh, counterclockwise, so <laughs> there. <laughs> Make this any length you want to there. Draw a perpendicular there. It's not much of a triangle, is it? Well, this is one of those. That's that was a whole point of us learning those new types of triangles, which we call almost uh, triangles. In fact, zero. If it's too troublesome, maybe you could pick something that's really, 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 really close to zero. Maybe like point zero 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 one degrees, just like that. And you know, the angle here is pretty close to zero degrees. You make the hypotenuse any length you want, so we can make it length 2. That would make that side pretty close to zero, 0 units in length, and the this one must be pretty close to 2. Okay, that this is this is how you would handle uh, 0 degrees, and it turns out all of these will have a similar triangle like that. The ones that end up on the on the one of the axes, on the y-axis for example, if you do 90 degrees, if you do 180, if you do 270, or if you do negative 90 or negative 180, all of these will have a similar story. Let's try it. Let's try um, 90 degrees. Uh, it, it turns out that 90 is troublesome, so maybe we could do 89.9999999999. So, and then from there you draw perpendicular, not to the Y, never, ever, ever, ever to the Y. Don't do that always to the x-axis by definition always to the x-axis so you make this length any any length you want so make this 2 this right here is approximately 90 degrees this one right here is approximately 0 degrees that means this side right here is approximately 0 units and this side right here is approximately 2 units okay if that was too fast 
just rewind it, watch it again. Um, that's the beautiful thing about this uh, format. But uh, I hope that you spent some time doing the uh, homework on these ones. Uh, they should come um, easy. Um, we could try again. Let's do, uh, let's do 180 degrees. 180 may be too, a little bit troublesome, so maybe do 179.9999999. This is 179.9999999 degrees. And so that you draw a perpendicular to the x-axis, you make this any length you want, 2, 2, 0. Left is negative, up is positive. There's your reference triangle for 180 degrees. Okay? This section is absolutely, absolutely crucial if you really want to uh, understand uh, the streak functions. Okay, um, I think uh, that's all for for now. Your job now is to uh, draw a whole bunch of reference triangles and realize that every single angle has a reference triangle. Always, 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 you start on the positive x-axis. You start here, and you go... Uh, counterclockwise for positive angles, this way for negative angles. Draw a perpendicular always, always, always to the x-axis. Label the sides, include signs, um, and you should be good to go. Um, I think that's all we got for now. Um, we'll see you guys here next time.